Great day for the Heat Foundation today, Judy. Uh, nearly $40,000 granted to great you know, local community charities and entities. Talk to us about the pillars of the Heat Foundation. Yeah, you're right. It's been a very exciting day. We've been very pleased as a board to be able to do this. We are our, our focus is primarily to help children under the age of 17 through health, through fitness, uh, helping through risk-related re behaviors, uh, helping them through grassroots organizations, sports. Well, I'd like to welcome everyone to the second annual Heat Foundation. Uh, grant presentation. This is a very special day. We're going to be giving away almost $40,000 in grants to fantastic local programs and organizations. Our next grant is the, the largest grant this year and, and a fantastic cause in Matthew's House. $10,000. Uh, the mandate of Matthew's House is to provide a loving, safe, and enriching home away from home for children who have multiple disability related needs. The funds will be used for a quality respite care for children, providing essential medical equipment for Matthews House. Great cause, and Tom Ball, he is here, the stewardship director. Congratulations, Tom, on a uh, grant from the Heat Foundation for Matthews House. Uh, talk to us about what this grant means for the Matthews House. Well, Matthews House, as you know, is a respite care home for children with disabilities. It's for people across BC, but what this means is we're going to be able to purchase some badly needed medical equipment so that these kids not only are safe and healthy, but we want to make sure they have the best experience possible. Matthews House, uh, in terms of uh, initiative, uh, tell us, educate us about Matthews House. Well, Matthew's house started as a result of a, of a young boy named Matthew Froze, who lived in Abbotsford, and he had multiple disabilities, and what he's done is left a legacy for other children across the province, because in Matthew's honor, we're building Matthew's house, right next to the Abbotsford Hospital and Cancer Centre, and what we're doing is making sure there's a place for, for children and parents who don't get a break. Many parents of children with disabilities are in charge of their kids 24-7. And these parents can't even leave their child for a moment. And the fact that we're going to have a home where people can come for a weekend, a week, and perhaps longer, is going to make a huge difference in their life. I read a quote from you, Tom, that talked about the importance of uh, professional sport and specifically about professional hockey in Abbotsford and the Abbotsford Heat and then now subsequently the Heat Foundation. Uh, can you talk us through the importance of that? Well... For me, what my comment is, we not only have a great hockey team, but we have a hockey team that cares not only about the community, but at children and children at risk in the community. So it's not just a good hockey team, it's a community-oriented organization.